Hi, in this video, we're going to do a proof. We're going to prove that for every odd integer n, the integer 11n squared minus 7 is divisible by 4. So first, let's recall what we mean by an integer being divisible by 4. So we say that a divides b. This is equivalent to saying that b is a multiple of a. So b is equal to k times a for some integer k. So in this case, we would say that b is divisible by a. So you would say b is divisible by a. Or you would say that a divides b. So all of these basically mean the same thing. So in this particular problem, we have to show that for every odd integer n, this one is divisible by 4. In other words, it's a multiple of 4. So we can write this as 4 times an integer. All right, so proof. So we'll start our proof by letting n be an odd integer because we have to show this is true for all odd integers. So let n be an odd integer. And now we have to show that 11n squared minus 7 is divisible by 4. So in order to do that, we probably have to use the fact that n is odd. So what does that mean? So this means, recall that when n is odd, that means we can write it as 2k plus 1 for some integer k. So this is the definition of odd. So if n is odd, that's what it means, right? You can write it as n equals 2k plus 1 for some integer k. So now we have to show that this is divisible by 4. So the natural thing to do is to write it down and see what happens. So then 11n squared minus 7 is equal to, well, now we're going to take this and plug it in for the n. So we have 11 2k plus 1 squared minus 7. And that's equal to 11. Well, 2k plus 1 squared, you can multiply this out. You square this one, so you get 4k squared. You multiply these and double them. So 2k times 2 is 4k. And you square the last one, so 1 squared is 1. And then minus 7. That's just a formula. If you have a plus b squared, that's equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. That's the formula that I'm using to go from here to here. Hmm, it's still not really a multiple of 4, so let's distribute the 11. 11 times 4k squared is 44k squared. 11 times 4k is 44k. And then 11 times 1 is 11. And then here we have the minus 7. All right, I think it's starting to come together. So this is 44k squared plus 44k. And then 11 minus 7 is 4. That's beautiful because look, they all have a factor of four. This is what life is all about. Four parentheses, 11K squared plus 11K plus one. Look at that. So we have 11N squared minus seven is a multiple of four. You probably need to say that this is an integer. So let me just specify where 11K squared plus 11K plus one is an integer. And if you're wondering why it's an integer, it's because k is an integer, and then an integer times an integer is an integer, and then if you add up integers, you get integers, so um, that's going to be an integer. Hence, 11 squared minus 7 is divisible by 4. Really nice, and that completes the proof, so the proof is complete. So really not a hard problem. Um, you just have to know um, what, what this means, right? So right here, what this means, and what this means. And then you just have to know proof structure. You start by assuming that n is an odd integer, right? And then you showed we showed that it's divisible by 4. And this is true for all odd integers, right? Because we just let n be some random arbitrary odd integer. Sometimes people will write, let n be an arbitrary odd integer. And then at the end, you would say, since n was arbitrary, uh, this holds for all integers, for all odd integers. You would say that. but. Um, just being a little sloppy here, but it's understood that 
we let n be an odd integer, and this holds for all integers. Another way to do this problem, perhaps a more rigorous way, uh, would be to use something called mathematical induction. And you could probably give a, a rigorous proof um, using mathematical induction, perhaps. Anyways, I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.